yeah welcome to impressive creative channel in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to make a fabric traveling bag with three pockets the materials needed are listed in today's tutorial we're making a smaller traveling bag with side pockets the last video was long i'll make this as short as possible but i'll put the link at the description section for those that want to have a full details of how to make a suitcase with fabric the first thing I would do, the length of this is 36 inches, the length is 36 inches, the width is 16 inches, width 16, so I have 36 by 16 inches, and what I want to do, I'll measure from here, can you see? I measure seven inches. I mark invisible pen. Seven inches. Seven inches. I rule and I cut it off. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I will rule and cut it off, and then each piece I will attach foam. This is foam. The last time I used interfacing, I'm using foam. This method is different from the previous one. So this is foam. I'm attaching a foam to each piece, the seven inches one, and then the remaining. And then after I'm attaching my lining, this is my lining. I'm going to attach my lining. So I the measurement is 36 inches by 16 inches, and from here to here is seven inches. I cut it off, I attach my foam, and then I attach my lining. I've attached the foam to the two fabrics before attaching the lining i want to make our handles two of it each length 24 inches by six inches 24 by six i've placed my pvc translation sheet on it can you see the pvc translation sheet and so to make the handle i'll get the middle notch fold into two fold like this for the other side and then bend and then I sew at this edge and the other edge mm -hmm. we have this so I want to make the other handle like this my two handles are ready I'm still going to attach this to the main fabric with a zip but first I want to get the uh, midpoint I notch I find the midpoint and then I notch with the scissors the same thing for this. Find the find the midpoint, and then I notch from the center. I measure four inches, and then I go down four inches again, and then from the center to the other side, I measure four inches, and then I go down again, measure four inches. So from the four inches down. I'll just bend this. Can you see? I'll bend. And then from the four inches down, I sew on top of this. The same thing. Work out. I'll bend this. And then sew on top of. So my handle will be like this. Four inches from the middle, four inches from the middle, and then four inches down. I'm going to sew it. The same thing. Now I'm sewing on this because I'm still going to attach from the other side of this. Not this, not this side. The other side. I'm going to find the midpoint, four inches. Midpoint, four inches, and then go downwards, downwards, four inches, and then I sew my undo. I'll place the undos. I want to cover. The foam. This is my lining. For this one, one inch bigger than the fabric. I'm going to sew it around. I'm going to sew it around. And then the bigger fabric. One inch bigger than it. I'm also going to I'm going to sew this round. I have my lining on both fabrics. And the next thing I want to do, I want to make my first side pocket. I have my zipper. 
this is the back I'm placing it on top of this remember from here to a 16 inch I made my zipper 17 inches I'm going to cut the excess off this is my lining it's also 17 inches by 12 inches I'm going to cut the excess 17 by 12 inches and then this is the front the front facing the front of the fabric I'm going to place it here I'm going to pin it down and then sew from this edge to the other edge. I'm going to turn it. I stop stitch at this edge. I stop stitch down and then I cut the excess zipper and the lining. Now I want to attach the second part to it. The second fabric. This is the right side. Can you see? right side facing the right side I'm attaching it to the edge of the zip I see the right side of the zip now I pin and then I turn it over can you see? I turn it over. And then I fold this in. So I'm stitching it like this. Can you see what I did? I just turn it over and I folded this. So I'm stitching this from the edge to the other edge. We have our first pocket. It's ready. Can we see? So the next thing I will do, I will stop stitch this place. Can you see this side? At the edge just as i did this one can you see the sewing so i'll do the same thing for this upper one Top. this is the first pocket so i want to make the sides pocket the length of this is 17 and a half i've cut this it is seven and a half this two is seven and a half the width of the long pocket is seven and a half. The length will be seventeen and a half minus seven and a half. That's ten inches plus one eleven inches. So we have eleven inches by seven and a half. This will be on top of it, and I'm going to sew. This is ready. Can you see? I have my lining looking neat, and this the PVC transparent sheet is on it. So I'm going to place it like this and sew, and then attach it to the side. So for the smaller one, I have interfacing for the bigger one i had foam you know i use foam for this this foam but i use interfacing for this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to use my lining to cover it like this i will show us how i use my lining and then the pvc transparent sheet this is the lining the right side facing the right side this is the right side the right side facing the right side i'm going to stitch it from here across I will not stitch this place. I want to turn it, so I will not stitch this place. The same thing for this one. I'm going to stitch it from here. I won't stitch from here to here. I'm going to turn it, and then I will cut the excess line. I have this. I want to turn it to the other side. I'm going to iron it. I'll place my PVC transfer sheets on top. After ironing, I'm going to place this on top and then I continue. This is my lining. This is my PVC transparent sheet. I want to cover this as I did this one. And so this is my polyester belt, the softer and the smaller one. I'm placing it like this. I folded it. I folded it into two to make it easier for me. I'll place it on the, I'll place it at the edge. I'm going to stitch it from here to here and cut the excess. After that, I'm going to measure one inch and then fold it. Like I did this. From here to here is one inch. I'm going to fold it and it will be like this. I'm going to stitch from here to here, across and stop here. This will be my pocket, so I'm going to stitch this place. The same thing for th this one. I'm going to stitch around and stop here. And then this will be my third pocket. 
the two side pockets are ready so the next thing I want to do the make point of the main bag a pin is here at the opposite side there is a pin also here that the make point and so the make point of the side pockets there is a pin here the same thing for this so the right side facing the right side can you see the middle the two midpoints I will see from here to here the same thing for this this is the midpoint the midpoint where the pin is I'm going to stitch from here to here my side pockets I want to attach my zipper I'm going to separate it. Can you see the placement? I'm going to stitch from here to here. For this edge, I'm going to pin it. And then for the other one, can we see? I'm going to stitch it and then I cut the excess. I'm going to stitch it like this. Now I'm going to turn it and then stop stitch. I'm going to turn it till I get to this edge. I'm going to cut the excess and then top stitch it. I'm going to stop stitch on top at the edge. And then after that, I'll cover this. I've covered, can you see? I've covered this. And then after sewing, I've covered this side, so I'm going to do that for the zipper. I've attached my zipper head. Please find the link to the previous video on traveling bag. And so I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to match this place. The midpoint. I'm going to make, put the midpoint at the zip. I've joined the sides. I joined the middle of this to the zip. I can see I've covered the sewing. It's looking nice. 